This is the Arduino Motor Shield tutorial. We're talking about this thing. The Motor Shield has two channels, A and B, which allows for the control of two DC motors or one stepper motor. It also has six headers, but we're not going to be talking about that in this video. Uh, the Motor Shield can safely supply up to 12 volts and 2 amps per motor channel, or 4 amps to a single channel. The pins of this Arduino motor shield will, will only align with the Arduino Uno Rev 3. In order to make it work with the older versions, you are going to have to trim off a few pins, but I wouldn't really recommend that. There are some pins on the shield that are always in use by the shield, uh, and that would be Direction A, Direction B, Brake A, Brake B, the speed of A, the speed of B, and the current sensing, which would be, uh, for channel A it would be A0, and for channel B it would be A1. This is a simple breakdown of the pins. I will also be putting this in the description. In order to power the motor shield, you're going to have to put the positive, which is red, into the VIN, and the ground, which is usually black, into the ground terminal. This is a sample program for controlling motor A from channel A. Uh, it's just going to go forward at full speed backwards at half speed. First you need to declare pin 12, which is the direction of channel A, as an output, and also the brake, which is 9, as an output. In order to go forward at full speed, you're going to need to set the forward direction of A, which is high. Forward would be high and low would be backwards. This just changes the polarity of the channels. You're going to need to disengage the brake by setting it to low. High would be, obviously the brake would be on. This is going to set the speed of the motor, which is controlled by pin 3, at max speed, which is 255. It's going to wait 3 seconds, then it's going to engage the brake, which would be high. Then to go backwards at half speed, you would have to put uh, the direction as low, which would make it backwards, disengage the brake by putting it to low, and at half speed would be 123 out of a possible 255 on pin 3. And that's going to go on for 3 seconds. Then I would uh, engage the brake, which is pin 9, by setting it to high. This is an example of controlling two motors at the same time with the Arduino motor shield. I've set uh, right polarity at pin 12, left polarity at pin 13, right brake at pin 9, left brake at pin 8, right current at A0, left current at A1, right speed at 3, left speed at 11. And right polarity, left polarity, right brake, left brake are all declared as outputs. And to move both motors forward, forward at the same time, at the same speed, I have both polarities as high, which means they're going to go forward, both brakes as low, which means they're going to not be braked, and both speeds at 255, which is the max speed. This is an example of what you can do with the Arduino motor shield. As you can see, it's connected to the Arduino Uno Rev3. I have a 12 volt power supply with discharge current 3 amps, so I've got 1.5 amps going to each channel. I have the, uh, the wires connected to the motors underneath, and I have the power bank not going into, not going into here actually, I just, I just have it in here. It recommends not to do this on the Arduino website, but it also says that the max that this can handle is 18 volts, so 
I'm just going to go with it. And this is just running the program that moves both motors forward at the same time. So it just goes forward. I hope this tutorial answered any questions you might have had about the Arduino Motor Shield. Any other questions you can leave in the comments below.